Network Media News for all races connecting to the world. This is MBN Network Media News for all races connecting to the world. Thank you for our able governor. We bless you, Lord our God, for the safe arrival of the aircraft. We hand over everything to you as we are here, recognizing your sovereignty, your preeminence in this occasion, that you have your way. At the end of the day, we shall be very careful to return glory and praise to you in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. amen. Thank you so much. Please, you can take your seats. Very happy to welcome all of us to this very important event. And as I'd already said, this is a very beautiful way to get things before I get started. But I want to keep the introductions very brief at this event so we can get into the activities for the day. Allow that I acknowledge on behalf of all our leaders in Akwaibum State and those we honor, His Excellency, our Governor, His Excellency, our Trailblazer, his Excellency, the hardworking and excellent governor of Akwaibom State. Please put your hands together, celebrate and welcome Pastor Moeno, governor of Akwaibom State. Thank you so much. I also acknowledge respectfully the deputy governor of Akwaibom State, Her Excellency, distinguished Senator Dr. Mrs. Akone Yarei. And, uh, and I'll end on the introductions at that, uh, on that side as I acknowledge the coordinator of the office of the First Lady in Akwaibom State, Mrs. Helen Nobareke. We celebrate you. Thank you so much. Please, all other political leaders from the Senate to the House of Assembly and all the commissioners, all our leaders as a matter of fact, including the chairman of local government areas, we acknowledge and welcome all of you. Let me celebrate especially the leadership and management of Ibum A, the chairman, the CEO. Please, can we put our hands together and celebrate all of them, trying to keep this very brief. We thank you for the good work that you do. For Ibum Airport Development Company Limited, we also acknowledge you, the chairman, the MD. We celebrate all of you and we welcome you. Let me acknowledge, please, all our spiritual leaders who have joined us here, our traditional fathers who have also joined us here. We thank all of you, our service commanders, captains of industries, through Mokoko, fellow Nigeria Society of Engineers. We acknowledge all of you who are here, please. Gentlemen of the praise, I acknowledge all the youths in the different groups that are here. Build the youths. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You understand that if we had all the time, we would have had a more elaborate introductions, but permit that we end there on the introductions, Your Excellency. As I welcome the chairman of Ibom A to please proceed 
to welcome His Excellency and all the other dignitaries who are here, trying to keep this very brief. Please, can we celebrate him, Pastor Imoa Basti Jacob, please. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Akwaibom State. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, please permit me to rest on an abbreviated protocol. Your Excellency, first and foremost, I want to tender an apology on behalf of the Board and Management of Ibom Air for keeping this event longer than it ought to have been. We truly sorry and penitent. Be that as it may, it's a day of joy. Um, and I can feel it from the display on the stage ahead of this time. The resilience, the celebratory attitude of our people to keep this place sustained. We're happy that this day has come. It's a great day in the history of our company, history of the state. Let me remind the audience that <clears throat> this is the fourth um, aircraft into our fleet within the space of one year. Three within the calendar year 2024. And all of this is happening in a very difficult operating environment with excruciating uh, and fundamental um, economic issues. But our company has believed in God and has drawn the support of His Excellency to be able to put together this uncommon uh, fit. What this means to us and all of us and the teeming traveling public is that with these additional two aircraft into our fleet, our fleet size now has increased to nine. And what does that mean? It gives us capacity to do more, it gives us frequency. Right from today, these aircraft are meant to be deployed to um, create more frequencies, particularly for the Uyo, uh, uh, Lagos, and Abuja route. I'm told that our frequency for the Uyo, Abuja, Uyo, Lagos route will go back to three, as it used to be. And we're also doing this ahead of the Yuletide season that is coming. And so no Akwaibum person, nobody who wants to come to Akwaibum should be left behind. We, we're glad that you have been patient with us. But I will not end this welcome address without mentioning something that has happened in the history of our company, perhaps in the history of the state and the nation. These aircrafts have been fully funded and financed by the, by the state government in a manner that is not known in the management of public finance. His Excellency has graciously funded these aircraft with what we call... what we call shareholders loan, deploying public fund to create wealth, to create asset in a way that the return, the, 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 deploy, the, the money will come back to the coffers of government for use in other developmental areas. Just as we want to surrender this courage, this uncommon feat, I think many years to come it will be studied in business school on public finance. And, and I'm glad that um, we're all witnesses to this. I call it the triumph of public finance over conventional finance. You and I know that if we were to go the route of uh, financial services, this kind of money would attract so much interest and create a burden on the shoulders of Ibom Air. But His Excellency stood between the banks and us, giving us a shoulder to lean on, giving us money, though we, it will be paid back within very... So it is on this note that I welcome His Excellency, our cheerleader, our number one shareholder, our supporter, and his entourage, that I welcome distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and our plane has joined, and God bless Ibum A. Thank you very much, ladies.
one of the CRJ 900 Bombardier aircraft that we're here to receive. Please, can we celebrate what we can now say, what not what we are hearing about? Please, can we celebrate the increase, the newest addition to Ibom Air? I don't understand if we understand what it means to start the month of November on this very wonderful note. But that is the Cannon Water Salute now, welcoming this new aircraft into the Victor Atta International Airport. And of course, you see Captain Fonodom standing at attention to behold the beauty, to behold the increase, to behold the addition as it were to the fleet of Ibom Air. And Why is it that even though the apocalypse is filled with darkness and despair, to remain the pride in the aviation industry and sector in Nigeria as it has been in its many years of oppression. Can we continue to celebrate God for the wisdom, celebrate God for the vision, celebrate God for the financing just spoken about. Your Excellency, we are happy. Akwaibumaita are very, very excited. Can we continue to celebrate as we thank God for what he has done for us today. And of course, if you can connect spiritually the month of November, it's certainly going to be a month of many new things for you, for your family, for Ibom Air. And we are very happy to be receiving this now. The new CRJ 900 Bombardier aircraft. Registration number 5 and CAD joining the plate of Ibom Air. Very happy that we are witnesses to all of this. Very happy that this has arrived at the very nick of time. What we waited for has come to pass. What we were talking about, we can now say it is no more telltales, is what we can say. As a matter of fact, any moment from now is what we would feel and is what we would join the state government and the management and leadership of Ibom Air and all the loyal customers of Ibom Air to participate, to use, to patronize. We continue to celebrate the arrival of that aircraft. We are indeed very grateful to His Excellency, the Governor, and of course the leadership and management of Ibom Air for the great work that they do and for keeping this airline, the envy of all the other airlines in the country and in the Sub-Saharan Africa. Your Excellency, we are grateful. The leadership of Ibom Air, we are grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, the pure brass band. Your Excellency, the arrival of that aircraft is arguably the most important item on our program today. Now, having arrived, everything is going to move very fast so we can get to the end. Well, let me now invite for some very special remarks the CEO of Ibom A. Please, can we put our hands together, welcome, celebrate. This gentleman of class, this gentleman, an astute administrator, a special man in every sense of the word, Captain Fonudom, for the special remarks at this event. Thank you, the pure brass band. Welcome, sir. His Excellency, uh, Pastor Moeno. And let me stand on existing protocols. I must add my voice to apologize. This is not Ibom Air. But, well, there are things that we don't control. But let's leave it that way. And I'm very happy at the turnout because this will continue to give us strength. And particularly, I've seen some faces who were here in aircraft one, two, three, and now four. You know, so these are the things that make Ibom Air. Those who do not earn salary from Ibom Air. They are so supportive, and our ecosystem continues to build, and we don't want to, you to let down, uh, because it's a continuous process, and I do believe that very soon, you add another one to it. But the greatest thing about today, 1st of November, is the fact that 
This is the first day of the second to the last month. So, this is, you know, okay, the aircraft has come in, there are two of them, uh, to increase capacity in readiness for Christmas. Number two, these two airplanes are being only warmed up in the domestic space. They are actually meant to connect our network from the regional network to Uyo. And we are going to start, the new terminal is going to open for business in December, but limited flight operations. Actually, the real purpose of this new terminal, you only realize in the first quarter when we start our regional flights out of Uyo. And what will happen is that the A220s will be parked there. The CRJs bring our passengers from Abuja, from uh, Douala, from everywhere to connect in Uyo to go to their final destination. So it's going to be a very, very busy terminal as we go along. So this ceremony today, again, with due apologies for spending more time than you should have, but it's for good reason. So we would be encouraged by your support. No single person left this arena since they came. So I was looking around and I was happy for it. So on behalf of the management and staff, we all thank you very, very much. Thank you and God bless you all. Ladies and gentlemen, it would appear that the crowd on each of the speeches would be the arrival of the aircraft that were here to receive. Looking to my left now, the second of the two aircraft expected today has just landed. And if you are an Aquaibum son, daughter, leader, you would be standing on your feet to celebrate the fulfillment of our dreams. You would be standing on your feet to celebrate the reality of our thoughts and vision. You will be standing on your feet to celebrate integrity in leadership and governance. You will be standing on your feet to celebrate increase, to celebrate advancements. We said there would be two, you saw one, now you have seen the second one. Can we continue to celebrate the arrival of the second CLJ 900 Bombardier aircraft? The next addition to the fleet of Ibom Air. Can we continue to celebrate? You are thanking God, you are thanking leadership. You are thanking God, you are celebrating purposeful, progressive, collaborative, and consistently forward thinking leadership. Can we continue to celebrate? Can we continue to celebrate? And of course, yet again, the Cannon Water salute also receiving his aircraft. This is its first time touching down the Victor Atta International Airport. And of course, that event there is customary on occasions like this. And we are very happy to be witnessing these additions, to be witnessing this increase in Ebom Air. And of course, as you heard from the CEO of this very amiable company, you would know that this addition is not just an ordinary addition. It is an addition that positions Ibom Air to, to get started on their international flights. And of course, as you have heard, by the first quarter of next year, this airport is going to become a beehive of international flights. And we thank His Excellency, the Governor, we thank the management and leadership of Ibom Air and every true son and daughter of Aquaibom State who continue to pray, continue to work hard, continue to support the vision, the leadership, the pragmatic approach of governance that has been introduced into the phase of leadership in Aquaibom State by His Excellency Pastor Moyer, and we continue to extol the very wonderful corporate management drive of the leadership of Ibom Air. We're very excited today, and I won't tire out on telling us that this is just the best way to start the month of November, and it could never be better than this. It could never come more glorious than this, and we are very happy 
this kind of thing happens only in a tribe of states. I have been born and I've been here for many years. I've not seen another state do this. I don't know if we will see it anytime soon. And this is why our state is special. And this is why Ibo may remains the best and the envy in the aviation sector in this our country. Very soon it will be Africa. And if you live long enough, it will be global. Can you keep celebrating what is happening here today? It has landed, we can see it, we can touch it, very soon we will enter it, we will fly it. Thank you so much the Pure Brass Band and thank you to the leadership of Akwai Bomb State and of course the Bomb A. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, our leader, on a day like this, there should be very many speeches because we are very, very excited. But we understand that we have many things to do, and especially that as a governor of our state, there are many things calling for your attention. So we'll take just two short messages of goodwill. The first will be from the Speaker of the Aquaibum State of Assembly, and the last will be from the Paramount Ruler of our Cobble Local Government Area, who have been unanimously selected by our fathers to speak on their behalf. Can we now put our hands together? Welcome the Speaker of the Akwai Bum State House of Assembly, the Right Honorable Elder of the Mautong, for the first message of goodwill at this event. Continue to celebrate the, the leader of the legislature in Akwai Bum State. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Akwai Bum State, our own. Pastor Dr. Umar Basi Eno. The Deputy Governor, our mother, please let me stand on our already established protocol. Your Excellency, I want to thank God in the first place for what God has done in our quiet bomb states. Your Excellency, what we are seeing today is marvelous in our eyes. And this is the Lord's doing. Your Excellency, I want to thank you for your leadership style. The CEO have said that the way you are running the state is not there in the accounts uh, sector. Your Excellency, I want to thank you. Speaker of the Archive of State House of Assembly, speaking very eloquently here on this very special occasion. Your Excellency, very distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to invite the next gentleman who will speak on this occasion. May I now most respectfully invite up here the paramount ruler of Okobo local government area who shall graciously come here to address us. Yes, please, sir, this way. Okay. Let the band give us something soft as we prepare to have our father speak to us from where he is. Yes. Thank you very much, the band. The farmer ruler, please. A quiet of his own. I go with his song. I go with my song. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Aquaibo State, please permit me to stand on the existing protocol. To go for a day like this, and we know that you are God fearing Governor. You have seen all that you have done. Good afternoon, Your you Your Excellency, within a very short period, we have received four aircraft. And this one is in particular very interesting because it is, these two are fully paid for. What is the inspiration? How did you do it, Your Excellency? God is our inspiration. Thank you so much. But the truth is, we must begin to look for alternative sources of revenue for our state. 
and um, one day I'm sure we'll have issues with oil. And so this investment, growing this investment, is to increase our revenue base. I don't have to choose to think out of the box than to tax the people. The economy does not call for that so right much. now. Thank so you we believe so much. that. Working with brands like Air and the things Nigeria, we are trying to do to so as to create that um, to create that wealth for our Bible in the future. The That's what we're but doing. That's the to celebrate. So let us watch, let us feel, and let us allow them entertain us for one or two minutes before we would come to here from our leader, the Dockers Cultural Troop, please, this is your moment, please take it. Celebrating consistency and focus in leadership. Opening the month of November for us with beauty and splendor. I recall that a week ago, the coordinator of the office of the First Lady was a member of this cultural troop. I don't know if she has rescinded her membership. Okay. I remember that last week she danced with them. Let me see again what she does today. Please don't go, don't go. Take your stand, take your stand. Please, can we put our hands together for the very last of the performances or the dancers? Something very beautiful, something very remarkable. The energy, the dexterity displayed by these very young ones. The beauty to behold any day, any time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, the Dukas Cultural Troop. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Your Excellency. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the high point of this event. A few days ago, we heard that a leader is a man who recognizes possibilities before they become realities. 
And of course, we have also known that a leader knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. We have come to the moment where we're going to listen to a gentleman who is not a leader because he holds the office of the governor, but he is a leader because he knows how to do the things that leaders should do. Your Excellency, a man said that we are all guilty of the good that we did not do. On the matter of Ibom A, you stand discharged and acquitted because all the good you should have done, you are doing already. Can we put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome His Excellency, the excellent and performing governor of Akwa Ibom State, Pastor Omoino, for his address and his event. Take our seats. Thank you so much. This is a dedication service, so we should sing dedication songs. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of our dear state.
My beautiful daughter, the coordinator of the office of the First Lady, the Honorable Speaker of the Aquaibom State House of Assembly, distinguished senators, members of the National Assembly that are here with us this afternoon, the chairman of PDP in our state, the deputy chairman, and other ESCO members that are here, the Honorable Deputy Speaker and Honorable Members of the Aquaibom State House of Assembly, the Secretary to the Government, the Head of the Civil Service, the Executive Assistant and Chief Delivery Advisor, Honorable Commissioners, Honorary Special Advisors to the Governor, the wife of the former Governor of Aquaibom State, all of the service commanders that have joined us here, both serving and retired, members of the first family, the chairman, CEO, board members, and management team of both Ibom Air Limited and the uh, Victor Atta Airport uh, Authority Management, other captains of industries that have joined us here, chairman of boards and commissions, permanent secretaries, chairman of local government areas that have joined us, our fathers in the faith and the chairman of Khan Aquaibom State, our paramount rulers, your royal majesties that have joined us this afternoon, distinguished invitees, women, men, youths, all of our people in Aquaibom State, both in Uyo, in Nigeria, and in the diaspora. Members of the Fourth Estate of the Realm, the press, ladies and gentlemen. Two days ago, we gathered people in Lagos across party lines to celebrate Aquaibom's continuous ascendancy with the groundbreaking of the 18 story Ibom Towers, an iconic tower that will, upon completion, speak to the power of vision and creative application of funds to the most benefit of our people. Today, we are here again to celebrate another milestone as we declare and receive and dedicate this brand new two CRJ-900 aircraft. Some time ago, someone said, every time an aircraft comes, why do we celebrate? And I gave my word that as long as I remain governor, every time an aircraft comes, we will celebrate. We will celebrate because to date in Nigeria, Aquaibon remains the only sub-regional state that runs a profitable airline. It calls for celebration. We will celebrate because God steadily is increasing us. We will continue to celebrate because we are investing in the right things for our people. That calls for celebration. And as, of course, a pastor, when David was bringing the ark of God back to Jerusalem, Bible says that after maybe a few inches, he will pause and celebrate. That celebration was to thank God and to recognize that without God, we will not achieve nothing. So this is not just about celebration. It is about thanksgiving to the almighty God. That we who were, not, who were once not a people, we who used to be houseboys and housegirls, today we can run airlines. We can build towers. That is the reason for celebration. At the end of December, we are flagging up the international market in Ikorekwene. Before the end of December, we are flagging up the judiciary quarters in Oyo. Before the end of December, 
We are flagging off our special ambulance services in Akwa Ibom State. In the next one week, we shall be harvesting from the employment portal 5,000 young undergraduates and we will pay them 50,000 naira each. So I like your criticism base to increase so that you continue to criticize us. That this month in November, I've just approved the payment of 1.2 billion naira for gratuity to our retirees. We are building roads. And this month, we are commissioning 72 projects in Akwaibom State. We are building compassionate homes. We are building hospitals. We are building schools. We are through the Akwaibom Ball Purchase Agency, distributing food to all local government areas. The fight between now and the first quarter of next year, we will be doing groundbreaking for a four-star hotel in Abuja. Because we are determined to convert all our moribund uh, properties to commercial use. By next year, the MRO behind us would have been completed. We are putting so much money already and we are 95% completion. Then we'll begin to earn in foreign currency. Later on in December, we are going to partially open the brand new Tier Rubber International Terminal. And then it will be fully opened by the first quarter of next year. Funding is at an advanced stage. I like to tell to the Aquaibon people, that have asked about the Ibom Deep Sea Port. You can check. We are meeting all our commitments to our consultants. And very soon, we have opened the road to the Deep Sea Port itself. And we are doing our work. So if, if these things are not are enough for you to criticize, please go on, let the music play on. Criticize us. But you know, let me say this, let me say this clearly to the Aquaibon people. We must think outside the box. There are two alternatives open to me. In raising the IGR of this state, I, I, number one alternative and the very quickest one is to increase taxes to the people. And bring all manner of taxes to our people. You pay multiple tax, tax upon tax. That's one way to increase revenue. But this is not the time to increase taxes for our people. The economy does not suggest that. And so what does the economy suggest? The economy suggests that every leader must put on their thinking cap and look for ways to generate revenue for our state in the years to come. And that is why we are making this investment and will continue to make the investment so that generations yet unborn, if and when these investments are properly managed, we will reap from them. And we are determined that they must be properly managed. And that's what we'll continue to do. We must look at things that will give us return on investment. Government will start it and then know when to back off. Very soon, Ibom Air will be going to the capital market because we want to divest our shares. It is important that Ibom Air, before going to the capital market, will break even. And for me, we felt clearly that if Ibom Air continues to rely on bank financing, they will not break even in a short while. Because by the time they take the bank interest at commercial rates, and the bank are free to increase their rates at any time, once they look at the MRI and the 
the CBN speaks, they can increase rates. And they give them this loan for seven years. We think we are doing well. Everything Ibom Air does is to pay back that loan. And by the time it's seven years, the engines of the aircraft are probably due for overhauling. So they take bank loan again and overhaul and come back again. It becomes a vicious circle. And we are determined to break that circle. And that is what we have done by this acquisition of these two aircraft. Without any bank finance, without any bank finance, this is paid for by the Aquaibom state government. Your money, your money, your money. And as long as I remain governor, I will be ready to account for every money that has come into the state coffers. We will use the money for the generality of our people. We will not put the money in very few pockets. We will put the money in things that will benefit all of us. And so we continue to save we continue to put money together to fund our critical infrastructure. The Ibom Towers in Lagos, we will not borrow a dime and will finish in 24 months by the grace of God. These aircraft you see here, we are not borrowing a dime. In fact, I'm prepared to finance another two as soon as Ibom Air is able to tell us because we are ready to break the cycle of debt and let the airline be free and begin to pay dividends to the government. We must increase our, 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 our stake and then we must increase our IGR. This is the only way to go. When people tell me about industrialization, I ask them, you don't know how many industries that folded up and left the country because of the economy. But we'll continue to support small, medium enterprises that can continue to employ our people and spread the message around. We'll continue to do the things that our people on a daily basis can put food on their table. This is what I believe God has sent us here to do and to build on the successes of our past leaders. So this is why we are doing what we are doing. Majority of the people complaining. Don't worry, we know why you are complaining. But we will not dance to your tune. Let posterity judge us that we were, when God sent us here, we did our very best for the Aquaibom people. And we had spread our investment portfolio. So Ibom Air, why we thank you for the wonderful management God has brought to us through you. We urge you that from 2025, we must now begin to receive profits from the operations of Ibom Air. We must begin to receive profit so that our investment will be worth the while. Don't worry, I understand the process of building up, but as we continue to build, as we continue to uh, expand, let us stop a little bit and have some dividend. It will make us happy and then we continue again. That is the way I believe business should be run. I also want to say here for the avoidance of doubt that we'll continue to do whatever is necessary to provide the necessary assistance to our indigent people. We'll continue to support Government will continue to run, will take security very, very seriously. All the things that other previous governments have done, we are following through. None is left behind. And some we are even reviving. And we are ensuring that so long as it will bring benefit to our people, we will do them. And so please, let those who feel that they can sit with a Nokia, 921 or whatever Nokia, because Nokia is cheap and right on the internet. We are not internet governors. We are practical governors. We are on the ground and we know our people. We know the need of the people.
And so we will not respond to internet criticism. People who live in Lagos, they pay rent to Lagos State. They pay all their taxes in Lagos. And yet, they are saying, why are we, not, why are we coming to invest in Lagos? Does it make sense? Why are they not practicing in Akwaibo? If a man like Senior Advocate Nwoko criticizes me, I will listen because his law chamber, brand new tier rubber, is in Akwaibo and is employing Akwaibo might. No nation survives without divesting its investment. And that's what we are doing for the Akwaibom people. And we are ready to give account any day, any time, that you will know that we have, rather than spend money on things we don't believe in, I'll leave the money in the bank and they'll pay us interest. I will not be cowed. I will not be stampeded to spend Akwaibom money in frivolities. That I can tell you. So on this note today, we want to thank God. We want to thank Ibom Air. But I'd like to make an appeal. Let charity begin at home. Ibom Air, please give us increased flights. People have called me, they've complained that how can we be shareholders and then Ibom Air is spreading herself thin. You will not be able to do all the routes in Nigeria. Let us come back home, look at it. The people you are flying elsewhere, they are paying money. Here too, we are paying money. Let us look at the economics. Don't keep us at the airport overnight. With these two new aircraft, this Christmas, I don't want to hear of any cancellation. If you cancel your flights, we will not support you again, though. Don't cancel any flight into Uyo or out of Uyo. Chief Operating Officer, Please give us flights. Aquaibom, are we ready to pay? We will give you full aircraft. So fly us because it is our own. Let us have the first right of refusal in this our business. Nobody will fly on credit. Not even the governor will fly on credit. You will not wait for anybody. Not even the governor. Nobody can tell Ibom Air, hey, hold on because um, somebody is coming. You must arrive on time. But let me also apologize to our teaming passengers that these planes are made by human hands. And I rather will delay a flight, and I rather they cancel a flight, than God forbid we fly under pressure. Safety is number one for Ibom Air. And when they cancel a flight, I want to tell you in utmost sincerity, it is in our greatest interest and our utmost benefit. So that's the apologies I want to give to our teaming customers. The Lord God Almighty will continue to help us. Let me at this point invite the Deputy Governor, the Coordinator of the Office of the First Lady, the Speaker of the House of Assembly, leaders and management of Ibom Airlines, and our fathers to please come as we go to dedicate these aircrafts and commit them to the Almighty God to guide them and work with them as they begin to fly this afternoon. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Please, it is the, the chairman of one of the local governments. Uruan local government, please see me, chairman of Uruan. May I have a for me to see the Ebi? Eno mumpo, eno female youth, eno show boys, eno member. Uh huh. Bado, my TV director. Bado, ition ition genado, ition oboro. So they may not come a frew. You may not walk again a motto. I've said you are frew. Thank you, Your Excellency. Please, the leaders, as uh, lined by His Excellency the Governor, to join for the official dedication. And of course, you know that all of us cannot be received into that aircraft today. So please.
cooperate with the protocol team for coordination. All right. supply of all good things on his behalf and on behalf of the Aquaibon people.
Prison. Prison calls. Prison calls.
talk media news for all races connecting you to the world. This is MBN Network Media News for all races connecting you to the world.